Welcome to another episode of Bella TV. I'm Stephanie Yang Ponin, and joining me today is Stephen O. Young, who stars in Freeform's hit series, Good Trouble. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. I, I feel as good as you look right now. Like you oh, look like you're so beautiful. So I should have worn a tux or a suit or something. Thank you ridiculous. so much. I'm sure you could throw one on later next time we meet. So it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully like in person point. and not this virtual. <laughs> um, exactly. We're having. But I want to get to know you a little more. You're also a martial artist, actor, and stuntman, a triple threat. What inspired you to be in this industry? Oh, man. You know, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be an actor. Uh, I just had no idea how to go about doing it. So uh, growing up, my father was a martial artist, so he kind of imparted uh, that, instilled that into me at a very early age. And then when I got into college, I really got into martial arts. Like I stopped studying. All I did was martial arts. Around that time is when The Matrix came out and Jet Li was in America. So it was a big martial arts push. So I kind of came up in martial arts during that time and stunts was really the way for me to get into the movie industry as a whole, uh, because at that time there was not that many roles for guys like me, uh, but they always needed bad guys and they always needed guys who could kick and punch. And so that was my introduction into the film industry. And then from there, uh, I transitioned into acting, which is tough, but here we are today. Here we are, and we're speaking today about your incredible journey. You've trained celebrities like Denzel Washington. What was that experience like? I, it's nerve wracking. All right, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. It's, it's a the first time you meet. They always say never meet your heroes, but I've been so fortunate that every one of these amazing A-listers are just super professional, really friendly, just all around exactly what you would want them to be. So I don't actually have any horror stories in that regard. But yeah, Denzel Washington is a phenomenal boxer himself. Uh, so they actually made my job really easy. A lot of these guys and gals, right? Uh, we would train him every day. We would show him moves. I would have to come up with fight choreography and kind of just present it to him. Do you like it, D? Do you like it? And he was so gracious that <laughs> they used a lot of the stuff. That's amazing. Could he ever say no to you? Like, oh, naturally, that's terrible. Like, can we do, can you, <laughs> can you go back and like do it again? <laughs> I, I all, yeah, exactly. I always say getting told no a lot is a part of this business. So yes, I was fully prepared to tuck tail, go home, think about it again, and just give something else. Well, that's how you become great, right? So like, like your, I feel like your experience has, is such a broad range, which is insane. And now you star in Freeform's hit series, Good Trouble. How is it working on that series? You know, uh, it's always tough coming into a show that has been going on, like uh, in this case, for three seasons, something like that. The, the cast and the crew, they have their own energy. They have their own vibe going. Everything's a well-oiled machine on their part. And then you come in as the new guy and you're just like, uh, I don't want to. It's like uh, the first day of high school right? You're just, I don't want to mess things up. But the great thing is that cast and that crew made everything so smooth. They were so welcoming. The show itself is uh, very progressive. It's, it's very diverse. I mean, obviously they cast me as well, right? Uh, and so I was very pleased that they put their money where their mouth is, right? They put their money where their mouth is and they're nice, which to me is like the biggest thing in this business. If you can be professional, if you can be nice and you can get the job done and make a quality product, then I got no complaints. And trust me, I am a guy that loves to talk trash about anything. And so <laughs> I have not, I have only good things to say. I feel like that's great because, you know, it's a hit series. Like you said, it's on season three and it's always, I feel like I wouldn't know firsthand, but maybe it's rare that you have a great cast to work with to make your life and your job easier. So that's amazing that you're included in this Freeform series. And you're also, you were also featured in Netflix's Jupiter's Legacy. What was working with Josh Duhamel and the rest of the cast like? Again, the same thing, you know, especially with a superhero show, you would think, okay, everybody's gotta be on the top of their game, especially physically. Uh, but it was like summer camp, I swear <laughs> to you. Uh, we all, we all, literally we trained for something like four weeks for a two minute fight sequence, but we all trained together, cast, uh, the crew, the stunts, 
Uh, and every day it was tiring because obviously we were training so hard, but it was also kind of like Christmas. We were waiting for our suits to come in. Yeah. Once we got our suits, it was, it was like, uh, like I said, it was Christmas. It was like, oh, show me what you got. Show me what you got. It was hilarious. The most uh, hilarious experience I've ever had in filming. I love it. I think that's all amazing. I hope to see you. I saw a couple episodes of Jupiter's Legacy, but maybe I'll see you in a Marvel movie, like, you know, superheroes and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll be looking out. So I think that's incredible. Your journey is, you've been like 15 years in the industry right now. You're been, Yeah. So that's just. I've been doing it for a long time. And it's, it's funny you say the Marvel movies, you know, I've been doing the Marvel video games, thankfully, right? But yeah, if I could get in one of these Marvel or DC movies, I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there in the universe. Well, we'll put it all over social media. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll start a, a page for it. So we'll absolutely, it we'll do it all for you. <laughs> but I'm also curious, I'm sure it's so intense, but what kind of training do you practice daily for your career? Oh, you know, I have to do cardio as much as I, I don't like to do. I love, I, ha I have to run. I have to do weights and I have to do the, you know, I bought this trampoline right this very expensive trampoline that's taking up all of my backyard i just have to constantly flip because it's one of these perishable skills especially the older you get so that's that's just some of the stuff that i do uh besides obviously you know sparring with some buddies in the park it's real boring that's just this is the martial arts way anybody who does martial arts we're all doing the same stuff i'll probably see all of them at the same park have you ever had any like crazy like injuries or anything? I hope not, but. Oh my goodness, <laughs> actually. Oh, I actually do. I was training for a, a, a stunt thing. I was doing some fight choreography and my toe, oh, this is gonna be so gross. Get ready for this story. <laughs> my toe, I was barefoot on, on these mats in, in a kickboxing gym. My toe, my big toe got stuck in one of the mats and I twisted and then it, I had a compound fracture. It popped open. You could see that was the craziest injury I ever had. I, other than that, thankfully, I have not had any injuries. I've gotten beaten. I've gotten hit by a horse. I've been oh. blown up as a stormtrooper. I've had a bomb strapped to my back that literally exploded. The only thing saving me was a metal plate. Uh, other than, but but that was the one that took me down. The simplest move. Who would have thought? I guess like your career is just keeping you on your toes, literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Exactly. Um, I want to also ask, like, what was your favorite moments of all times in your career so far? Uh, you know, I, I think speaking at Comic-Con on a Marvel panel in front of like 7,000 people in Hall H, that was, that was going to go down in history for me. Uh, and I also shot a car commercial with just me and George Clooney. And if anyone looks at my website, <laughs> you can find that. I'm never putting that one off. That, that is always going to be right there at the front. So I spent the whole day with George Clooney, just chilling, just talking in this car. Uh, and he was exactly as you imagine he would be like on TV, just charming, effortlessly cool, super cool, chill guy. So those are like the two big experiences that stick out to me. And actually, the car commercial is kind of when my father saw it and he was just like okay that was the moment where he's like okay i think my son's gonna be all right i think he's got some some legs in this career that sounds awesome and i'm sure your family and friends are all very proud of you because that's like do i see will i see you and maybe the next like fast and furious like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> like it's just a lot like you're just giving me a lot to go off on of here like I guess, absolutely you know, you're on the marvel panel like that could have been your way in like be like hey yeah Pat, like, yeah. look at this video of me and George Clooney. <laughs> hey, look, I always tell everybody, it's taking some time. You know, I, I'll bust down any door I need to. But you, trust me, Fast and Furious, I'm gunning for that, too. I've been riding Justin Lin. Don't think I haven't been riding Justin Lin. He's actually the reason I even got my SAG card, believe it or not. Uh, I did this free, uh, like, background extra work for an independent film that he had shot. And he was so cool. He gave 10 extras their SAG card. And I was like one of the 10. So I always owe Justin Lin. That's awesome. Well, that's well deserved. I want to switch gears and talk about Asian representation in Hollywood. Can you talk about the importance of diversity and representation and what that means for you as an Asian actor? Ah, uh, well, me specifically, like get down to brass tacks. 
diversity is great for my bottom line because I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to make some money here. <laughs> but I do really believe that uh, entertainment especially is the, the best way to, to get a, a whole picture of people like, of, like you and me, Steph, right? Like to see a whole picture of, of our emotions and our range of our humanity as, uh, you know, crazy as that sounds, but it's true. People, a lot of times people just watch TV or they watch films and that's the only exposure they have to what a certain group of people are like. So the more you can see different people, the more human everyone will be to each other. And when somebody's human, it's, it's so much easier to, to just empathize with them and have more understanding. So it really is very important as much as it seems like, ah, that's just TV, that's just movies, but it's like totally what we use in our daily lives. I completely agree with you. I believe it's been a very difficult year for the Asian community. And I truly appreciate, you know, you speaking out about representation. Um, and, you know, I hope, I feel like um, the Asian community has come a long way in Hollywood and TV. Um, and you see more of like people that look like us on screen. So I, I think it's an incredible thing. And I feel like we've got a long way to go, but it's a step. So um, Absolutely. do you have any last messages you'd like to give? Uh, any last me I'm just, Hey, tune, <laughs> tune into good trouble and, uh, check out my website, stevenoyoung.com. If you'd like to see that George Clooney commercial <laughs> and, uh, stop Asian hate. Absolutely. And, uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you so much again for your time. It was a pleasure meeting you and speaking with you today. And like you said, be sure to check out the series, Good Trouble on Freeform. Thank you so much again, Stephen. I hope to speak with you again. This has been really- Absolutely. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, I'll definitely Stephen. check out and tell everyone the George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.